Hi, I'm Ashley Schrader, and I've been asked to talk about why I joined Seeds of Strength and why I continue as a member. So the reason I joined is because Barbara Brightwell told my husband, Josh, to tell me to join. Um, it was that simple. He had gotten to know Barbara and her husband, and we just really admired them and had the same mindset as they did. Um, I heard Dr. Brightwell speak at a chamber event one time, and she said, you're blessed to be a blessing. And I totally agree that any, any blessings we have, we're supposed to share those. So I really admired her and respected her opinion a lot. So when she said to join, I went ahead and joined. But I did start to look and research about the organization and I thought $1,000 seemed kind of high. At the time, I was a little bit scared of that amount, um, but at the time they had a group option or a team option. And so I convinced my friend Casey Noble to join and be um, be on a team with me. So we each contributed $500 that year and we were a team up until last year and they changed the way that um, the, the teams or the membership is structured a little bit. So I'll talk about that in a, in a second, but um, it was a great way to join and to be a part of a group and to still have such an impact, um, they really wanted those that big amount, that buy-in. Um, so that was a really great way for us to, to join. And Casey and I both have big families. We're both very busy. So we were very attracted to the idea of giving back and not having a time requirement or a volunteer requirement, which we are very active and we do lots of things, but just to add another thing to our plate was not in the cards at that time. So we really appreciated just being able to give financially and support these wonderful organizations um, where we would love to be able to volunteer and do things. Um, and we just, you know, at the time weren't able to do it and starting to change a little bit now, but still kind of in that zone of having younger kids. So that um, we really appreciated that. and. Um, they do have some events, some meet and greets, things like that. And I have attended some, if I'm available, I do. I try to um, go and just be a part of it. And I love that it's not a networking thing. It's not a social climbing thing. It, it's just fellowship with other like-minded women and you learn about different things that they're involved in and different ways, the reasons they got involved in philanthropy or in giving and things like that. Um, one of the ones that I went to two women talked about how they started a bus sharing charity in Chicago. They found out that all the nonprofits had were having challenges with transportation. So they, instead of just jumping in, they had done their research and they really found out what was a need that could really be met by them. And um, they grew, you know, went together and built the finances to be able to start that bus sharing. So I was really impressed by that, motivated by that, inspired by that. Um, that story. And so, and you know, at these events, I've met women that I wouldn't meet otherwise and that I'll run into at other places. So it's kind of fun. It just really helps build that community when you are around other women like that. And um, you get to kind of have some deeper conversations and um, instead of just um, purely social or just small talk. So um, I do enjoy that. But the one event that we always go to is the voting event. So every May they, See the Strength Grant Committee has narrowed it down to 12, um, it may be a little bit different now, but um, a, a number of organizations that come together and do a four minute presentation. And it is so wonderful to just hear these passionate people come and they're so personal and so local. I mean, these are the people that are on the ground doing it and they come and they tell us about it. And they say, here's what we're doing and here's what we need. Here's what would make our nonprofit or our charity better. And that's why they come to us. They're asking for a certain amount of money. And a lot of times they'll say it's, a, it's for a specific thing. It's for an air conditioner. It's for something like that. So it's really great. And the ones, even if they don't receive a grant or they don't receive exactly as much as they wanted, that we get to learn about them. And now they're on our radar. And now all of us are caring for them and cheering for them and wanting them to succeed. So it's just such a wonderful night and it is so educational and can be uplifting, but can also be kind of convicting and um, eye-opening, and which is just so important. And so um, when Casey and I were a team or a group, we had one vote together we didn't each get to give our vote. So we didn't always agree. So it was some, some exciting um, 
discussion and we had to compromise and we had to discuss. And so that was just a learning experience in itself um, to, to have to do that and um, really talk about well, what, what, you know, what excited you about that group? Why, why would you want to give to that group? So it was really good to kind of talk with each other and uh, about the merits and what, 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 what each one of us were passionate about. So the best thing I think about Seeds of Strength is that you can determine your level of involvement. I'm the president of Village PTA at the Village Elementary School, and we have a lot of members that just give their $7 and they're not able to volunteer or send a lot of things. And that is great. We need those people. We, we have to have those people that are somewhat involved to help us do a lot more things. And that's what I am at Seeds of Strength. I am that person. I give my money. I read the occasional emails that they send out. I, they're on my Facebook feed. So I, I keep in touch and I keep abreast of what's going on, but it really doesn't require um, a lot of my time. I would love at some point to be on the grant reading committee or serve in some other kind of leadership way um, in Seeds of Strength. But for right now, I love that I'm able to just be a part of it and contribute without having a lot of time commitment or, um, and, and also I can just vote where I want our money to go. So I do have as much as I'm not super involved in the day to day, or I have a say in where the money goes. And so I get to vote and I get to have that just pride in our community that we are supporting these wonderful nonprofits. Um, so whether you are super busy and you, but you feel like you want to give back more. Oh, I wish I could really help. Well, this is the organization for you. And also, if you're someone who is feels like you have some time and you really want to get more involved and you want to meet more people and you want to meet like-minded women, then I highly encourage you to join Seeds of Strength. Um, there are currently three types of memberships. Um, there's the $300 to $549, and that gets you one vote grant per ballot. And then there's $550 to $1,049, and that gives you two votes per grant ballot. And then there's $1,050 and up, and that gets you four votes per grant ballot. So you can visit the website seedsofstrength.org, and you can click on Join Us in the menu on the right-hand side, and um, you can find out all the information. You can do it by mail, or you can do it online. It's very simple, and they um, are great stewards of the money. They, when they do have events, they don't um, go all out. They keep it very simple. They do not waste funds on silly things. They really want as much of what you're contributing to go towards these wonderful organizations that are doing so much good in Georgetown and Williamson County. So um, if you want to be able to go to the wonderful meeting in May where you hear about all the organizations and what they need and what they're doing, then you need to make your contribution by March 1st. So just kind of mark your calendar. Um, I usually put it in my calendar for February 1st to get my money in, just to give myself a cushion and make sure. And the um, leadership team, the membership um, chairman, they are wonderful about following up and making sure and helping you out in case you need help um, getting your contribution in. So if you have any questions, um, you're welcome to get in touch with me, get my information from the Seeds of Strength um, you can email someone on the website and get my information, but um, I have just really enjoyed being a part of it. I feel like it's such an important part of our community and I love getting to be a part of it. Thank you.